Hi, my amazing planner people. It's Jess from My Magical Planner. And today I'm going to be doing my weekly spread for the week of January 17th through the 23rd in my Harriet Wright Designs planner. This is a seven by nine A5 wide planner, very similar to an Erin Condren planner. So this week I'm going to be using this really beautiful kit from Sticker Guru. I adore the colors like the light purples and the pinks are just so gorgeous. It's called Snowdrops and I think it's left the shop but she has a lot of other really beautiful kits and I love the paper that she uses. So we have this page which has all of our beautiful full boxes. I don't know if I'm going to use the Hello Winter because it is more into winter than like the first week. So I'm going to have to think about that one. But we have this. We have beautiful checklist here at the top. We have a Monday through Sunday. We have a uh, days of the week tracker. We have habit trackers. We have layering elements. We have a lot of really great functional boxes to work with as well as some really beautiful washi at the bottom. These are headers and then these are headers with specific things on them. So I'm really looking forward to using that. I did also because you have the option when you get one of her kits to get her dates. So I did get this one with the dates and I did get both pieces of the floral that went with this to kind of try out and see how I like that. So for those of you who don't know, I am on Sticker Guru's PR team. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I might have used my PR for this last term to get this kit. I can't remember exactly, but I, I definitely got a discount on this, so which was really nice. But I'm saying that to just fully disclose things. Um, I will link them down below, but it will be an affiliate link which means it doesn't cost you anything or anything like that, but using my link does earn me points towards getting other stickers in the shop and things like that. You can use my code JESS15 on like sticker kits and things like that. It doesn't work on $2 Tuesdays and I think apparel and the, I'm not sure if it works on the, the mystery box, but I don't think so. And I think it doesn't work on $2 Tuesdays. So other than that, you can always put in my code to get a discount. If you can't use the discount, you can always put my name in the notes to seller to get my freebie. So my freebie is, I didn't have, <laughs> I didn't have one I didn't use part of. So I'm gonna grab these two to kind of show you. So this is my current freebie. I, the term is coming to an end and I'm going on for another term. So I don't know if this will be changing, but it might be. So my current freebie has like a little computer up here. We have a planner. I have a couple of like, I call it winter foliage, just kind of pine tree type elements that I thought would work for the winter spreads. I have some garlands here, which actually I think are gonna work really well in conjunction with this kit because it has these garlands, which are really similar. This is just a smaller version, essentially, with more layers. And then I have a couple of scripts on here for you guys. I have walk, self-care, and to-do. And at the very bottom, um, where's the other one? I have two just line dividers because everybody can use line dividers. So that's kind of my freebie. All of that information will be listed down below to help you guys. But let's get into this planning and I will meet you guys in the voiceover. I had a lot of fun planning with this kit. I loved bringing in different types of snowflakes and stuff to kind of incorporate things. So here up in the corner, I'm using a glam planner overlay. This was for a bigger box. I got it in a glitch kit and don't actually have the box that it goes to. So I thought I'd try putting it up here because I love the way that these snowflakes looked. And then I wanted to add that snowflake kind of feeling all the way across. So I pulled out this overlay tape from Scribble Prints Co and just kind of layered it at the top. I kind of wanted it to look like it was snowing. I'm not sure that that really came across, but it was fun to try. As I'm putting down the days of the week headers here, I lined them up according to that line at the top, which doesn't give me a whole lot of extra room. So laying down this overlay tape at the top allowed me to do a version of that header deco that's so popular right now, which I love. I just am struggling with how to find the room for it. 
I wanted to go ahead and put the dates down before I added anything else. So then I decided I kind of wanted to use these, but I didn't like how they looked. They're just headers with snowflakes from Harriet Wright Designs. And so I'm putting down some colored headers to give me some separation. And then I'm going to layer those header overlays on top of them with all the snowflakes. And then I'll come back in and put individual snowflakes throughout to kind of add to that dimensionality of it. I'm not sure that it overall gave me exactly what I wanted, but it was close enough that I was good with it because sometimes it's good to experiment. Some things work really amazing and other things are just okay. And you learn some things that you might do differently next time. Like I'm not sure next time I might try and have that overlay tape on top of my day headers and see if that works a little better. I didn't do it this time because that overlay tape would have ended like kind of halfway through that header and I didn't want that line there. So I don't know if there's a good solution, but it's just food for thought for the next time. I did really love placing down these individual little snowflakes. There were, I think, five different designs of snowflakes on this sheet, which again was from Harriet Wright Designs. I think I got this in an oops bag and I just really loved the variety in size and design in there. It was so, so cool. So I always like doing something special up in that upper left hand corner, something that tells me what month it is. It's just kind of a fun decorative element that I like to incorporate. And so I was going through all these different things going, how can I pull these together? Because I really wanted to use this Polaroid and I wanted this flower to look like it was in the Polaroid. And I wanted a girl in there too. And I wanted the script to be kind of underneath of it or not underneath, like you know, that white space at the bottom. So I ended up actually cutting out the middle of the Polaroid and layering it on top so you could still see the snowflakes underneath and then putting that girl in there. And it really came out amazing. I'm super happy with that little experiment. Then I used the This Week sticker at the top there. I put a habit tracker below it. So these I used a little differently this week. I used one for self-care, which could have been anything. There's this whole concept of non-negotiable self-care, like something that you need to do for yourself that day. And then the one I did below it was dress well, because I've noticed I kind of want to stay in my, you know, workout pants and sweatpants, that kind of lifestyle. And I found when I actually take more effort and put more energy into how I'm looking, I actually feel better. So I'm trying to make sure that I do that because with the winter and all of my health issues, it's been hard to leave the house. And so I've kind of gotten stuck in this rut. So that's my idea of how to get out of that. And then I of course have my meals down here. So I did put a little bit of, of deco here by the meals and I'm not sure that I really like the way that this turned out, to be honest. Sometimes I don't remember who said it, but like when you feel like you're going, ready to go out in the night, like take one thing off and then you're really ready. So that's kind of how this sidebar felt to me with this little icon that I put by the meals and I tried a few different things and it just, it really bothered me. I ended up pulling it off somewhere during the week. But below the meals, I went ahead and put errands and I did use dividers that are those um, snowflake trims from Sadie Stickers. So now I'm going by and putting the washi at the bottom. I am I wanted to put that overlay tape with the bigger snowflakes down there. Again, I should have maybe lined it up a little differently. Maybe if I had had the snowflakes on the line, like the top line there, it would have looked a little better, but you know, live and learn. <laughs> it is what it is. I can't fix it now. So, and then I'm just trimming it up because every time that you have something where it's just over a little bit, it always looks unfinished to me. So I went ahead and put more of those Sadie sticker trims there along the top. I'm really enjoying having a beautifully completed edge there. It just gives us finished quality to the washi at the bottom and I love it. So now I'm trying to find a script for Martin Luther King 
because the kids had no school and so I wanted to mark that but I couldn't in all of my scripts find one I guess I'd already used them probably last year so I need to order more maybe anyhow so I didn't have a chance to use that but I used a flag with a little bit of floral to mark Martin Luther King Jr. Day and that the kids had no school below that um, I had physical therapy that I wanted to mark, so I brought in a box, and I had a leftover Elsa sticker that I just kind of pulled from my leftover stickers. Her coloring went so well with this kit, it just seemed like a natural thing to do. The sticker that I have over there by Self Care is from Joya Planning, and she's the creator of that sticker up in that left corner as well. So then I knew I wanted this to do checklist. And at first I just put one of the florals down and one of the four bow checklist. And then I was looking at it with the little to do script and I was like, it's just kind of getting lost. So I wanted something white there for it to be on, but just having it on the paper didn't feel right either. So I went ahead and just kind of cut down one of these boxes from Crafts by Towie and put it underneath. And then I, added the checklist and a couple of florals on both sides to kind of box it in a little bit for lack of a better way to do it and just kind of trimmed those up so it fit perfectly into my column. Below that I'm going to go ahead and put down a sticker to mark filming and I just used one of the nice boxes from the kit and I found some floral that kind of matched that was from letters to Apollo and overlaid another joy of planning sticker there and I went ahead and I'd found that ice skating sticker <laughs> and I put that on there because we ended up going ice skating for Megan this day instead of Tuesday because well you'll see in a minute but it was kind of fun and then on Tuesday I really wanted to try out this layering I'm not sure if it 100% worked but it was a nice try and I added in some floral there at the bottom as well as an Instagram icon there um, to mark the Instagram post I was planning on doing that day. I don't know if I actually did. <laughs> and then below that I went ahead and I'm going to mark laundry because that was the big thing I really needed to get done this day. In my house with four kids and a husband, like there is no end in sight in our laundry. <laughs> I did do another one of those overlays with the snowflakes. Now this one, the laundry skip, the laundry script did get a little lost in there. If I had used either a black or not had the snowflakes, it probably would have done a little better. Below that I put one of the full boxes. I think this is the point that I realized I hadn't put down any of the full boxes. So this is the point that I'm like, okay, I need to stop and just put the rest of them in because if I wait until I get to that column, I'm going to forget about them again because I'm so focused on getting the different elements in there that I don't think about what's not there, if that makes sense. So after I get them all down, I went ahead and wanted to lay this floral down. I didn't like how thick the white border was on the one side, so I just trimmed it off. No big deal. And then I wanted something on top of that decorative box because I had so many things going on and I didn't want the, it to be crowded. So I just trimmed the box down and wrote on top of that. This is a really good way of being able to incorporate the beautiful boxes, but still get everything in that you need to. I did use a White Deer stationery little music note there as well. And then I wanted to try, I think it's Gathered Plants who does like the two circles on the side and then a circle in the middle for her deco. It like looks amazing and I wanted to give it a shot. And so I'm trying here, still not sure what I think about what actually happened. That seems to be the theme of this spread. It's me experimenting in different ways and going, oh, does this work? Mm, does this work? kind of thing and I think sometimes we need to do that and we need to have a spread that's just not perfect and that's okay. So now moving on to Wednesday and I'm going to have a to-do list there at the top. I'm just using that checklist and a to-do script. The to-do script is from Harriet Wright Designs again. So now I'm cutting down some floral so I can have it next to it kind of to mark my physical therapy again and have that all there. I I liked having it behind. I'm using it like I wouldn't have liked it on its own like that, but when you add in the layer of the little nurse, I think it looked pretty cute. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down Dan's trombone tutor. And I tried putting two notes here because I thought, well, maybe that will look cuter. And I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on that one either. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on. Oh, no, we're not. I lied. I was ahead of myself. Okay, then we're gonna move on to Thursday. Emily had occupational therapy this day and we were working on brushing hair, which sounds really simple, but is not in our family right now. So it was really nice to get someone else's help with that. And I had no idea they had therapy brushes that are like weighted. It's, it just boggles my mind. Anyhow, and then we had a meeting with the entire special ed for her school. Like there were six different people on the phone call for this going over the paperwork that we had and everything and what kind of accommodations she needs and that kind of stuff. We'll meet again, I think in March and then go over how things are going. So Megan had solo practice again this day and which was just, you know, me marking with a little bit of floral and a music note. I think that's from Harriet Wright Designed as well. I marked her skating again with that little skating scene, but this time I overlaid it on top of the, the decorative box there and just kind of add it to that decorative box by doing that. And on Friday, the only one I can think of to know is that, um, that floral one at the top where I layered on the floral wreath that came in the deco. And then I took one of the square boxes and just put it on top. So it kind of frames that box. And then below that, Megan had a doctor's visit that I marked. Um, I did also like the way I marked planning time, which you can't see right here. I think I'm working on it at this moment, <laughs> to be honest. But I put some floral and then I used two of the, oh, there you can see it, uh, two of the little corner elements to kind of make an arrow and put the planning time there and the little planner and the pen below it. I really love the way that turned out. And then I overlaid the desk from Craft by Towie on that Sunday box. I really enjoyed actually building on these boxes in this kit. I thought they were perfect for it. So I did that. Um, I'm marking binge watch because I really, on Sundays especially, I love to sit down and watch planning videos and kind of get inspired for my next week and what I want to do. So I did that and then I have a to-do list under that. Now I'm going back over to Saturday. The intent was that I would have everything all done and uploaded by Saturday and I could check them all off. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> now that's all I have for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next week, I'll see you guys real soon.